Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks and Hobbies. Today we are unboxing the Temporum Alternate Realities Expansion. All right, so Temporum is a game designed by Donald X. Vaccarino. Uh, it's published by Rio Grande, and I picked it up thrifting a couple months ago, and I rather enjoyed it. I honestly hadn't heard a whole lot about it. Um, it's got kind of average reviews, but uh, but I thought it it was good enough to warrant uh, seeking out the expansion. Uh, so I put this on my wish list, and I, I was grateful to receive it. Uh, essentially, what you get are 48 zone cards and 60 player cards, as well as a few other things. And this essentially doubles the amount of content in com when combined with the base game, uh, because the base game also includes 48 zone cards and 60 player cards. Uh, so you're essentially uh, doubling the amount of content in the base game. And in a game like this with a variable setup, that's never a bad thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Always nervous about doing these things live because you can really only do this once. And if you mess up, too bad. Uh, so you can watch as I struggle with the shrink wrap. It's very engaging. All right. So the base game doesn't have a whole lot in the box. So I'm not expecting this to have a whole lot either. Uh, but let's see. So we have the rule book here. Overview. All right. So it looks like we will have some things to punch out. Um, it's a new type of zone, it looks like, with a different icon. Rules for how to set up the game. Uh, gizmos, I believe those are a new thing. More tokens. Okay, and then some uh, notes about some specific cards, which uh, the first game had some pages like this, and I thought that was a good idea. It's essentially kind of not errata, but a, an FAQ for specific cards. Um, it's not perfect, but it's better than, than nothing. Uh, so there's that. What are these? Oh, so these are, it looks like some setups. That's cool. So I don't think that the base game included these, but these are essentially uh, pre-built setups that you can deal out, uh, similar to how Dominion has some, some sets that are in the back of the manuals. So that's cool. Hello, this is Aaron from the future, and I realized I made a mistake here. The base game does in fact come with recommended sets of cards to use, just like Dominion. Uh, so this is a mistake, I apologize, and now I have to go fix a temporal rift, so enjoy the rest of the video. So there's that. We have our tokens, several hourglass tokens, and some other, t I assume that these will connect to certain zones and cards. Oh, that's how it opens. <laughs> these look like they are money. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, and these are double-sided. Interesting. Um, so yeah, these, these money tokens and the rest of the tokens are double-sided. Uh, that's one of the things that bothered me greatly in the base game is that the tokens are only uh, one-sided. So I wonder if that's something that they changed at some point um, in a later printing or if it's just they made that change for the expansion. All right, um, advertisements. Uh, we don't need to look at those. Uh, and then we have our two decks of cards. So let's open these. These are our player cards here. Just 
Just leaf through these. So as I said earlier, this essentially doubles the amount of cards uh, when you combine it with the base game. Um, and there's, it looks like similar to the base game, there's two of every card. And then we have our gizmos and trade goods. So it looks like it adds another element to the game. We'll open the stash here. It's a blank card. And so these are all the time cards. Oh, and we have, so these are more just item cards. Oh, these have a different text. Uh, so it looks like the red is something that you can choose to do uh, before your turn. So it's a new way to play some cards. And over here, then we have the timeline cards. Uh, I'm probably calling these the wrong names, uh, but so we have time four, time three, and time two and one, Age of Atlantis, Alien Egypt, Zombie Apocalypse, of course. All right, so, and then these are just blank cards. It's unfortunate that they didn't include a, a back for these. I feel like they, they could have easily had one of these be a, a player card there, and they could have had one of these be a, a time four card. I feel like that's a missed opportunity, but... Um, not really going to complain about some a few blank cards um, so there's that yeah uh, doesn't look like they included any baggies uh, for the tokens but i think the base game has enough room in the bags uh, to store these tokens um, yeah so there's that i uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope to see you again in another one uh, this is aaron from board games bricks and hobbies take care bye